Hi, Gamyar about uh, gloss. About uh, gloss. Gamyar. Gam. Gambar gloss. Hey, hey, it's me, Nala, like the Lion King, and this is my channel, DB Nala, done by Nala. Every time I say that, I sound like I'm doing a Disney Channel commercial. You're watching Disney Channel. Um, let me see. Before we start off, too, let's get to a recap. Recap last week. Um, shed some blood, making a carpet. Uh, it was so much fun. Okay, anyways, starting up, we're going to be working on a commission together. Um, and then also thank you guys so much for just subscribing and liking and just tuning in every week, every Wednesday to, you know, see what's been going on, what's the new things going on. Um, so personal life check-in. Um, things have been going pretty good. I got some cheap contract things in the works and you know, your girl's trying to make money as a freelance artist. So it is hard. It is hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, but yeah, on that note, I'm going to start it up and get it going. Okay, so this piece, like I told you guys before, had that burgundy background and that sketch we worked out on. So I wanted to show you guys the process behind everything. I'm going to fully complete this piece, and I'm using acrylic on canvas. The one trick with these few commissions I've been doing lately is that I haven't been using like physically like skin tone paints from the store. I've been making my own skin tone colors, so it's been very challenging. So I make sure you guys can see that whole process when I go back and forth from the palette. So it's very weird. I originally loved drawing like drawing was my thing I didn't really get into painting until college before college I was like I hate painting it is terrible I hate the idea of just like putting something on and it's unchangeable with a pencil you can erase it but as I slowly became you know more comfortable with painting I realized like this is a really cool medium and I kind of just stuck with it um but yeah I stuck with it and then because of that I have been kind of losing my roots with my drawing but I'm going to try to pick that up with you guys very soon very quickly um but yeah painting honestly obviously it's super hard but I've tried acrylics I've tried watercolor I've tried oil I hate oil paint I really do it's very good with blending but it's very hard to go backwards to a lighter color so you always have to like really be careful on where you put your colors and i don't like that i like the idea like how acrylic because it dries a little bit quicker you can always go back within like a few seconds and go ahead and paint right on top of that with like a few highlights because remember i showed you guys like for my t-shirt design i said i always start with my darker colors and i end up going backwards and they come all the way back and i do my highlights then so and then also if you guys are going to realize in this video I make a lot of corrections. I move things around all the time, super quickly. And so it was gonna be a strange painting altogether anyway, but if I would've used oil paint, honestly, I feel like in my heart, it would've been a disaster. All right, so this commission itself was very strange. It was like a collab piece. I had to, this person itself loved WandaVision, so I'm trying to like spoof it to like the character is the person itself with WandaVision. I don't know if you guys could have guessed that before, but you'll see when I put her crown on her costume. But yeah, it, it it's very weird because I have to change things up. I have to change her color tones and like also want to use a few little other highlighting details. Um, but it was very fun. It was, it was hard because like I said before it's really hard to make sure you get that face exactly correct because you can always see if that person does not look like that person so I try all the time to put a lot of love and a lot of heart and respect into figuring out what the face looks like and it's different because when I did my personal um, paintings for my few, uh, senior show it's different because I painted myself so it's okay if my face was a little wonky because I mean hey it was just me who are you guys gonna tell me you know it was fine with it but with commissions it's very serious and it's very specific and so it's a lot of changing things around um and also you know I don't say the way I paint is the correct technical way but it just works for me and I think the key with all that is that I believe that every stroke can be changed around and moved so it's like if I put a stroke down on my painting it's like it's not the end of the world like I tend to like start over a lot and like the one thing like one good artist advice is that they tell you as an artist that don't be afraid to like trash your whole piece to start over so a lot of this face that I'm working with I'm gonna end up like going over it with entirely different color back and forth when you guys are gonna be like girl you just put that color on there like just now like I spent so much time getting the reds in her cheeks and stuff and now I'm literally going back with the lighter color and because I feel like I want to make sure because like 
because it's a red background, you know, it's kind of hard to see the redness and kind of color in her cheek because also I remember I told you guys that I'm creating these colors so if you add black or darker color or a lighter color it's hard because it takes the color out of it so I have to keep adding red and orange or yellow to bring the color back into the face so I'm constantly trying to figure out what's a good consistent skin tone throughout the entire piece like I'm playing with it like crazy So for the lips, the lips was the funniest part. It was so weird because I'm like, okay, do I want it to be like a nude color? But I mean like, I can't get this color right. But then again, I don't want her lips to be chapped. And I'm just like, maybe I should just go with like, maybe a red lipstick. But I'm just like, no, that's a little too extra. So I'm just literally playing with the back and forth, trying to figure out what tint works beautifully with it. And it's so hard to choose, so hard to figure it out. So I'm literally just playing back and forth. And then as I go on, I also want to put a little color in her eyes, you know, just kind of make it sparkle and shine, you know. Look at the lips. I just, first I gave her the Nicki Minaj bright pink. And then now I'm like, okay, let me just settle this out a little bit because it's a little bright, a little out there. So I made a little bit more, more burgundy, more neutral, nice kind of, kind of matches the background a little bit. But like I said, I like, I'm literally playing back and forth with this skin tone, but I'm just working with it. I'm trying to play with it. It's weird because I'm kind of winging it as I go. Um, I have like little uh, reference pictures, but I've been freestyling a lot of this. So the weird thing about painting with freestyle is that you really have to make sure your proportions and everything is like really correct because you can mess up so quickly. Like, and I pride myself because I love doing like hands and faces. So I'm kind of good at sometimes of trying to like distort the face or trying to fix some proportions of it like I'm really good and kind of quick you know how to move those around because I do that a lot but yeah it's a lot of guessing a lot of creating and I don't know if I could tell you guys but I'm really I'm a I'm a I'm kind of like a scared creator because like I'm uh, I feel like I don't have that creative capacity like my father had he's like super creative and just comes out of stuff like out of his butt and just like how in the world do you think of this his mind is just like go mode go mode and like I'm just kind of like I'm trying to represent what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling so I can't just like create out of pocket feelings or like out of pocket people like so that's why I use myself a lot and I remix it sometimes because it's so hard for me to think of like creatures you know like actual non-human you know creatures but I'm working on it you guys I'm trying to work on it my camera keeps dying you know so it dies but I want to make sure I finish my commissions on time so I have to keep going sometimes but to make you guys feel better like I covered over a little area of the painting Soon I will release and have a video about my nightmares because I have so many dreams and so many paintings that I've created that are literally modeled off of my nightmares and that literally is, is forcing me to create out of my head. So it's literally me trying to represent what I see in my dreams. So that's going to be coming up. I'm not going to tell you guys when, but soon, could be next week, I don't know yet, not sure, I gotta fix some things out. one thing I wish I wish it was bigger you know it's very hard to work small with physical pieces you know it's hard to get in there with detail but I love that challenge I love it I love it I love it but this piece was really fun you know like as you guys can see like like I said before I'm fiddling with the red colors I'm going back and forth back and forth as you guys can see like the skin tone is very, very, very strange for me to do. Girl, pick a color. And I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm just trying to make more of that saturation of color because it's, it's looking very washed, you know? And I really wanna, I'm trying to bring that color back out.
okay yes you know I had to come back with my little highlights they're so cute I love my little highlights kind of remind me like little anime highlights um it's really cool so now I'm actually getting into the final stages of my piece Um, the main focus now is to like do these red highlights because this is going to be literally like the best part of the entire piece. It's like I got to get those red highlights in. Like I said, I told you before, I am remixing a lot of this. So that red, that red is beautiful. And also, you guys will see in here, I literally had to shift my entire collarbone when you guys see it because my shadows were on the wrong side. And I'm like, that's super important when it comes to painting. Like, another tip, when you are painting portraits with like exaggerated light or anything that has like a really dark contrast or anything like that you really have to be careful of your shadows because your shadows can make or break your piece and like that part is like my favorite part to play with because like i love playing with the back and forth but yes we are almost here i'm getting my little details in tip of my fingers purr, purr. yeah I had to fix that neckline entirely because like I said I played with my proportions and my proportions was way off and now it's time for my background because it was looking very dull some of the little circles and I'm just gonna start layering and layering and layering and it's just kind of this winging it I'm really moving with my piece what works and what doesn't work going back into forth I'm putting some nice bright white in there to get some shine and I see my beautiful bubbles and so now that I got my piece I'm gonna go back and use my Gamyar about uh, gloss about a uh, gloss Gamyar Gam Gambar gloss like the one I tried to use for my stickers because I didn't work at all but now I know how to use it look at it perfect 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 Piece de resistance. I'm so happy. I love it. It's so glossy. It's so bright. It's like, mwah, mwah, mwah. All right, so before I leave, I want to thank you guys for watching and joining on. I really appreciate everything that you guys do. And don't forget to come back and always put your notifications on because I will be back to bring some more pieces. Like and subscribe. <laughs>